This is the Star News Brief. A Mark Gitao. President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto will get millions of shillings in send-off packages and other hefty retirement benefits in just two weeks, the Star has reported. The president will be entitled to a one-off gratuity of 34.6 million shillings and a lifetime pension of 1.2 million shillings every month. In addition, the outgoing president will also benefit to a monthly entertainment allowance of 200,000 shillings and a housing allowance of 300,000 shillings per month. Get a copy of the Star News Brief by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com. Media, which unveiled a joint production for the presidential debate, faces a major test following as new presidential candidate Velo Dinga's decision to plan a parallel debate on Tuesday. Makao Mutua, head of Raila's presidential secretariat, said Raila will skip Tuesday's highly publicized debate at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Instead, Makao said Odinga will take part in a televised town hall at Jericho Social Hall in Nairobi, Eastland, with ordinary Kenyans as he listens to their demands and challenges facing them. Deputy President William Ruto has pleaded with his Azimio rival Raila Odinga to attend the Tuesday's presidential debate and face him head-on before millions of Kenyans. Ruto said Odinga should just prepare himself well for the event and use the platform to explain his agenda for the country. The Deputy President said Raila will have nothing to fear if he has tangible plans of moving the country forward. An attempt by one of the children of the late Vice President Michael Wamalwa to have his siblings locked out from the distribution of two prime properties in Karen, Nairobi County, has been declined by the High Court. Justice Agri Muchelule dismissed arguments made by Derek Mboya, who claimed there is a dispute over the ownership of the two properties. Wamalwa died on August 23, 2003. His children have since then been fighting a bruising battle for control of their father's estate. The death toll from Sunday's Nidhi Bridge accident on Monday rose to 34 even as the first respondents to the scene of the Sunday crash recounted the horror at the scene. The driver of the modern coast bus lost control, plunging into the river along the Meru Nairobi road. Moturi Gitonga was among those who struggled to save lives after the Sunday evening accident. He was called by a friend, Daisy Rutere, informing him of the crash. Get a copy of the Star News Brief by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com.